Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jertich and this is the MOA Philosopher. In this video, we're going to see how to create an advanced import range function to change the cells or rows of multiple spreadsheets in a folder. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we have our folder with the sheets that we want to change. You can have as many as you want in this folder. The next thing we're doing is going to create the source spreadsheet where the information is going to be. We'll put some information in here real quick. After we do that, we're going to go to Tools, Script Editor. After you do this, you're going to go to the link under this video, the public script link, and you're going to open it up, copy the script that's there, and paste it here. After you paste it here, you're going to start filling in the spaces like we've seen in other videos. First thing we need to do is change the folder ID. So we'll go over here and change that. Get the link from the folder. Come back here. Put that in there. Oops, I'm sorry. Put this here. Didn't grab the folder link. We have to go back to it. And go here. Put that in there. Erase everything before, after the before the equal sign, rather equals and before the equal sign. Delete all that. Then we need to change the sheet name, source sheet name. That'll be down here. This one says sheet one, so we'll change that. Down here, we're going to change the range. We want all of column A. Now, it's very extremely important here in relation to this that the amount of rows that are in the source sheet and destination sheets are exactly the same. It makes no difference what you put in here. So if there's a thousand here, you have to make sure there's a thousand in these. If there's only a hundred here, a hundred in these. And if one sheet of those three has less or more than the other sheet, you're going to get an error. So make sure that all the sheets that you have have the exact same amount of rows in order for this script to work. So if you only have 100, then just put A1 to A100. But if you have the same amount and you don't know what they are, but as long as they're the same amount, you can just put the column, and that's what we're doing here. Down here, the destination sheets, the sheet name of these have to be exactly the same. So here we have names. In this one, we also have names. In this one, we have names. If you have here names one, again, it will not work. So make sure that the names of the sheets are exactly the same the ones that will receive the information. So here we're going to put names. And down here we're going to put the exact same range. So with all these changed, now we can run the script and make sure that everything is working fine. We're going to press, first we have to change the title. You have to make sure you change the title. You can put the title anything you want. Then we press save here to make sure the red asterisk is what goes away. After we're done with that, we press run. We're going to press continue. Allow. And back here it says it's running. And so now the three names that we have here should now be here. Now, the awesome thing about connecting the script to a specific spreadsheet is that then I can go to resources, all my triggers, get rid of anything that's here, click here to add a new trigger. This is get data. And now what we'll do is put this from spreadsheet and put on edit so that I don't have to go and worry about when these things get changed. So that the instant that I put something here, let's just put mark again. And name. <clears throat> Excuse me. These two names should now automatically come out here. And as you can see, that's what's happened. So it makes no difference if I add or delete. Let's say I delete these three. Now, when I go over here, those will magically delete. And this is almost instantaneous, so we don't have to worry about time things or anything like that. And that's what's so awesome about this. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to do a more of advanced type of thing where, let's say, 
if I want more than one column, I can always add this and I can put AC and then all the columns that I have in there are going to change. But let's say for some weird reason, you have information in column B that you don't want touched. Because if you leave this here and you leave column B blank, it's going to erase the stuff that you already have there. So I'm going to show you one more thing. We're going to put these back to A. Let's say you have stuff in column B that you cannot have changed. So the only thing you have to do here is change the script a little bit so you can jump column B. And the way we do this is simply by taking these two here. We're going to copy them, go down here, paste them, and then we're going to put this as a two and a two, and then we're going to change this here. Okay, so we have two, two, okay, and then we're going to put this as two. Okay. So it's always going to be three numbers that you're going to change. And what that does is allows us to make sure that we jump that B column. So we're going to put this as a C. And then down here, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take this. Control C, go over here, Control V, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We have to change this to a 2 because that's what's above. We have to put this as a 2 and this as a 2. Okay. The destination sheet is going to remain exactly the same because we're getting the sheet by name, and that's what this one is here. So that one's going to stay the same. The only thing we're going to do here is change this to a C. If this is too complicated for you, don't worry. The second part you do not need to do. We've already seen that the first part works perfectly. This is just for people who need more complex control over their spreadsheets. So now that I've changed everything else, we've copied these two lines and put a two here, copy these two lines and put a two here. Then all we need to do is save this. And then we're going to run it. So now if I go over here and press something here, we'll just put this on here for right now, these will automatically, in theory, present themselves here. And they did, as you can see. So that jumped B, so that I can put stuff in B here and it's not gonna affect my, my script at all. So that if I go over here and put something else here, then that will magically get stuck over here Afterwards, as you can see, mark came out and it did not affect my B, even though the column here is blank. So I hope this helps. And please, again, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Feel free to subscribe and even donate to this channel so that I can keep on doing this work for you guys. And I really appreciate anything that you've given to me up till now. Thank you very much and take care.